So we are back with a new topic related to our uh, ProcessRS course and uh, it's uh, related to the one of the final examples uh, a protection system a safety system related to the oil circuit in a uh, compressor so uh, this file is the control philosophy for uh, the whole machine we just focus on the uh, simple part a start blocking timer a, st a start blocking timer um, for the start blocking timer we have uh, three redundant transmitters temperature transmitters inside the drive drive is a uh, big uh, motor in order to energize moving the mechanical parts so the oil circuit will uh, provide oil inject oil to uh, lubricate the mechanical parts and uh, three transmitter three uh, temperature elements redundant temperature elements inside the uh, the motor in order to measure the temperature so uh, based on the temperature and threshold that you uh, will find the values here in this uh, control philosophy if you read the whole control philosophy you find out the limits for a high and low for all of these transmitters and if you want to know how to connect the redundant uh, transmitters to the ProSafaris uh, uh, safety system and how to handle the, them in the user program you can enroll in our a course uh, ProSafaris course so uh, so we have these three values out of all those redundant uh, configuration we have three values and based on these values we decide if uh, the motor is running in cold start or it's in the warm start and there is limitations in this example we only want to uh, test uh, several unsuccessful starts, cold starts, and we will see that how the uh, one hour uh, start blocking timer is working. Uh, this is because if we have several uh, unsuccessful uh, starts in a big uh, a motor, uh, we need a one hour um, delay time to make sure that the drive internally is is cool and uh, we should avoid several successful successful start because during the start we have a huge rush uh, current inside the motor in order to uh, start the components the mechanical components so in order if, if to avoid several high current into the um, drive and damage the internal part of the motor we have we need this time so we want to implement this safety by using ProSafe RS in this simple example so it's a very good example if you want to practice uh, several redundant transmitters and uh, if you want to capture number of unsuccessful starts so you need a uh, counter and uh, some uh, you know timer mechanism in order to uh, block the machine to start again so uh, let us start with the permission to start here So we have the permission here after um, after a while 30 seconds uh, we have the you know all of these oil related components are doing the lubrication in the machine and uh, we have a chance to start it's a common uh, you know the mechanical parts uh, in a, a rotary machine you may have uh, the machine is uh, visually is okay nothing is wrong on the whole machine but 
in some cases you may have high speed elements mechanical high speed elements that are uh, rotating and during the runtime when you put them on the the you know under test they may show some uh, vibration and vibration is something that is dangerous for mechanical parts so uh, we may have uh, shut down from those uh, cases so uh, let's just uh, we need to wait uh, for 60 seconds system should be pressurized and you can see that this valve is op opening all production is transferred to atmosphere and the inlet is zero but there is a minimum opening in each guide vein inlet guide veins there is a minimum opening uh, somehow mechanical design of the machine so you can see that the valve inlet is opening outlet to temper uh, to atmosphere is closing and we have flow here and pressure is increasing uh, you have option as I mentioned before, we implemented uh, the regulation part at the same time in uh, this uh, ProSafRS application. It, this is the beauty of using ProSafRS. The beauty of Pro, uh, using ProSafRS is if you are in a remote area and you need to implement a control and safety uh, application at the same time for a small mission. So. The system is pressure rising and consider we have a shutdown here. I told you that the reason for uh, shutdown can be rotary components. They are uh, very, if there is something is wrong in the rotary part, uh, you may have a possible shutdown. So, we need to wait for the stop phase. The stop phase, you know that when we have the shutdown, the main drive is stopping with the delay of one minute or two minutes. So all of these components are uh, are rotating for two minutes possibly. So we need to provide the whole machine with oil electrically and uh, so when the stop phase is finished, we we have the possibility of uh, running the evaluation again. So the stop phase is finished. So let us try to run the permission to start again. Permission to start. Permission to start. So we have the uh, oils, electrical components are running in order to perform the, to inject the oil. And uh, we need to wait for 30 seconds. So now let us run. In this case, uh, just remember that uh, in order to run, uh, when we run, the electrical uh, lubrication system, the oil pumps, uh, will shut down when the when we are sure that the pressure oil pressure is you know oil pressure is sufficient. So, or it depends on the oil pressure and the the, the time. So. Uh, in, if you read the control philosophy, uh, we consider both of those uh, constraints. So if the oil pressure is enough and the time after the starting, uh, starting progress, after a starting in progress is passed, so after that we are confident the oil is okay and we rely on the mechanical oil system. But in case of uh, pressure drop in oil, we have the chance to run the uh, 
or electrical oil system in order to provide the help so let me shut down again again we have a mechanical problem and uh, this is the second unsuccessful start second unsuccessful start the stop phase should be finished Uh, please remember that we, we are in a, a test environment. In the test environment, we don't have the buttons. So most of these uh, acknowledge permissive to a star and a star. These are uh, the momentary buttons. When you mm, push they are getting true and when you release they should be false but here in software we don't have to we don't have that option so this is the out of the uh, service totally everything is shut down and we start for the uh, we start a system for uh, the third time let me run for permission So permission in the internal register of the program so we have two unsuccessful uh, starts and this will be the third after the third the system will tell you that you have you don't have the permission to start the machine for one hour because uh, because the safety system should be more wise of the uh, people who, who is running or working with the machine. So we have the start. The drive is running. And again, we have a problem in the mechanical part. So and you have the block starts here so for one hour the uh, asserting of the machine will not possible for you you need to wait due to uh, internal temperature of the drive you need to wait for one hour and after one hour uh, the time when this indication is removed you have the chance again you have the chance to uh, run the machine run the machine again so so you need to wait because we have this uh, block start alarm here so you need to wait for one hour and uh, after uh, one hour the, uh, you will have uh, the permission you will have the permission to start the machine again so um, And so we need to wait for uh, a one hour and uh, when one hour is finished we have the possibility of a start the machine again so we, we will return after this one hour period
so we are back after uh, around uh, uh, one hour and uh, so let me arrange everything here so we have this alarm the alarm uh, lock start is uh, is still active you can see that this this bit is indication so we need to wait after this one hour time uh, is finished so we have the permission to uh, start uh, the drive again It's a great example, great, great example for real application. So uh, we are getting close. So uh, the alarm, the start block alarm is gone now and uh, the protection over the uh, startup, uh, uh, the number of unsuccessful uh, starts are now expired. So uh, we, have the, um, we have a chance to uh, run the permission, run the permission and uh, I start to drive I start the the whole machine uh, this is the permission and the next will be the uh, starting the machine uh, we will uh, share other uh, programming tips regarding this safety scenario if you like to read the whole uh, control philosophy and do the practice you can uh, enroll in the ProSifars course uh, it's a um, great uh, real application and you will practice your programming uh, uh, programming knowledge in PLC safety PLCs So that's all for now. I uh, stop the video here and uh, I will provide all links and all details uh, in the description part. Thank you for watching.